Uh, but if you're someone who carries two, three years of work experience, based on the job title, you can earn up to 110 or 120 k uh, US dollars. Even students with uh, you know uh, sciences degrees like BSc Mathematics or BSc Physics could also apply to uh, uh, industrial engineering degree in order to get these products to you at the right cost, right quality. In, within a certain time frame, companies design a lot of complex processes. You can specialize in finance, you can specialize in data science, you can specialize in operations research and analytics. You can apply to uh, electronics companies like Apple, uh, you know, Samsung, etc. So if at all you're interested to get into the automobile sector, then Michigan has very high concentration of job roles for industrial engineers. Now I have divided this into three segments, top, top tier, mid tier and safe tier. Industrial engineers role is required across all diverse industries. You name the industry, there will be a job role for an industrial engineer. Hi everyone, I'm Jay Surya. I'm an admissions expert and uh, the director at Dr. Raju's uh, consultancy. Uh, me and my team of admissions experts help hundreds of students every year, have been doing this for the past 16 years, uh, helping, uh, helping students, uh, you know, study master's degree across diverse specializations, different countries at top universities, etc, etc. Now, every few months I make uh, different different videos about diverse specializations to really educate students of what are the kind of job opportunities that are available. So typically, many students think there are just uh, CS and IT jobs that are lucrative, but uh, I've seen many, many professionals do very well across diverse streams, right? Uh, one of those streams is industrial engineering stream. Now, many students have been commenting on my videos to talk about industrial engineering. So I am making this video uh, to dive deep into what are, uh, what is industrial engineering? What are the kind of job opportunities that are available? How is the pay like? Uh, what are the best countries to study in? Although in this video, we will be primarily focusing on USA, which is the biggest job market for industrial engineers. I'll also touch upon slightly on other countries. Now let's dive in. If you look at the products that you use on a daily basis, it could be the phone or the laptop that uh, through which you're watching this video, right? Uh, in order to get these products to you at the right cost, right quality in, within a certain time frame, uh, companies design a lot of complex processes, right? And these complex processes need to be optimized. Now, a typical industrial engineer who is the one who optimizes for cost, for time, quality, safety, financial risk and return, and nowadays even sustainability. Now, such kind of optimization is required across diverse industries which have very, very complex processes. Now, it could be the manufacturing industry, manufacturing of cars, planes, uh, chemicals, food, electronics, semiconductor chips, etc., etc. It could be transportation and logistics companies. It could be finance companies where you need to optimize for the right uh, risk and return, right? Um, it could also be human factor segment where you optimize processes for safety and uh, great human experience. Uh, so an industrial engineer is required across all these diverse set of industries. And if you're someone who really likes to explore and learn new things, then industrial engineering is really a great stream for you to pursue. Now, what do you study in MS in industrial engineering? Now, if you think about the industrial engineering degree as a burger, the curriculum as a burger, the meat, the main patty of that burger is mathematics and computing. Now, you study mathematical concepts uh, like, you know, advanced statistics, probability, and you learn programming languages, digital tools like SQL, Tableau, a little bit of database management systems, etc. Uh, and these two, uh, you know, fields give you skills in how do you use mathematical concepts, uh, how do you use mathematical algorithms uh, to analyze large sets of data and optimize using that data. So at the core of an MS industrial engineering degree is mathematics and computing.
but the bread of an ms in industrial engineering degree is really systems engineering now systems engineering really teaches you how complex processes work and interact for example if you look at your own phone it is uh, you know to manufacture and to that get to get that phone to you involves a bunch of complex processes right it is designed in one country its uh, chips come from southeast asia right it is assembled in india and it reaches you no matter wherever country you could be here in india you could be in pakistan bangladesh uh, you know europe etc it reaches you there so these are all bunch of complex processes and you learn system or design level thinking to see how these complex processes uh, work so that is really the bread of a uh, industrial engineering degree. the you know the lettuce tomatoes onions of your burger or of an in industrial engineering curriculum is human factors because remember we are designing all these uh, processes uh, for human beings right so really uh, you know you should know how to design this processes keeping human a human being and a human behavior at the center of the design process that's why human factors ergonomics become a very very important concept uh, for industrial engineers to learn i know i'm taking this burger example uh, a little too far but really universities will also help you customize your burger in the sense that they offer a diverse set of specializations uh, that you can choose based on the industry you want to get in you can specialize in finance you can specialize in data science you can specialize in operations research and analytics you can also specialize in niche areas uh, like uh, you know health systems engineering biostatistics financial engineering etc etc really based on what the university uh, is offering and what your target career or job role is many students ask me who can pursue an ms in industrial engineering degree and typically uh, many students think uh, only like mechanical engineers or aerospace or automobile engineering students are the only ones who can pursue ms in industrial engineering but that's wrong right uh, for any ms industrial engineering degree you need an engineering degree as a base and this could be very diverse it could be mechanical civil chemical uh, biomedical even electronics uh, computer science degree even so any engineering degree is a basic prerequisite and the only requirement to pursue an ms in industrial engineering even students with uh, you know uh, sciences degrees like bsc mathematics or bsc physics could also apply to uh, uh, industrial engineering degree because they have the fundamentals of uh, you know calculus uh, probability statistics and also learn a little bit of programming languages uh, so that are the, those are the prerequisites enough to pursue an ms industrial engineering degree what are the kind of jobs you can apply to after graduating from ms industrial engineering now that really depends on the kind of uh, experience you have if you are someone with no experience you can uh, you know apply to entry level jobs like production engineer supply chain analyst operations analyst data analyst logistics engineers and 10 15 other job titles because again uh, different industries have different uh, job titles so you can apply to all these places uh, you can uh, you know if you carry let's say 2 3 years of work experience you can also apply to entry level managerial roles like supply chain managers operations managers program or project managers etc etc uh again this is across diverse industries right at one side you can apply to uh, electronics companies like apple uh, you know samsung etc you can apply to semiconductor manufacturing companies like nvidia tsmc etc you can apply to defense companies you can apply to aerospace companies like boeing you can apply to chemical engineering companies biopharma companies finance companies management consulting companies etc etc and if you look at universities their websites their career outcomes you see job titles across all these diverse industries what is the average pay for an ms industrial engineering graduate now the salary ranges uh, right from 90000 us dollars to 110000 us dollars and this again also depends on the kind of experience you carry if you are a fresh graduate then probably your initial salary would be about 90k uh, but if you are someone who carries 2 3 years of work experience based on the job title you can earn up to 110 or 120k uh, us dollars uh, this is the entry level salary but then as you you know progress as you gain um, experience salary steadily raises to 150 160 uh, and even as you get into you know managerial roles it goes much much higher than that as well now let's look at some of the top states where you can study uh, ms in industrial engineering and find job roles 
right? Uh, obviously, the most popular states of uh, California and Texas are, uh, you know, the states with highest number of job openings. Uh, and there are, you know, very diverse set of uh, industries here. And they are very popular among international students. Uh, so, it, it's a good idea to pursue MS here. But also remember that the competition will be pretty high because there will be a lot of graduates uh, and there will be a little bit of uh, supply demand mismatch as well. Uh, apart from these popular states, you can look at the state of Michigan. Now, Michigan is a highly industrialized uh, region, especially in the automobile sector. So, if at all you're interested to get into the automobile sector, then Michigan has very high concentration of job roles for industrial engineers. Now, apart from the, these three states, uh, we have lesser popular states, but states with high job openings like Washington, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, etc. Um, and because these are not super popular, there is lesser competition for jobs. So you can uh, you know, choose to pursue your masters in these states as well. Before we move on to the top universities segment, uh, I do also want to touch upon a few other countries which have great industrial engineering job markets. These are uh, the countries of Canada, UK, Singapore, uh, some countries in Europe, uh, Australia, etc which all are, you know, developed countries with uh, matured industrial sector. But remember, they're only second to USA and they make a small portion of what the USA job market is. It's still the best, but you can choose MSL engineering courses in these countries as well. Now, let's move on to uh, top universities in the USA in which you can um, uh, study MS and the students of course. Um, now, I have divided this into three segments, top, top tier, mid tier and safe tier. It really depends on your profile uh, of which universities you should apply to. Now, in the top tier, uh, one of my favorite programs is, uh, you know, University of California, Berkeley's MS Industrial Engineering course. It's a professional master's degree and it's one year long. This is suited specifically for students with industrial exposure, right? Uh, international students with one or two years of industrial exposure can apply to this course and uh, you can have a competitive uh, chances of getting into the university with industrial experience. Now, another very popular uh, industrial engineering course is offered by University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. Remember, I told you about the state of Michigan, which is, you know, a huge uh, market for uh, job opportunities for industrial engineers. Now, Michigan Ann Arbor is the best university in that state and it is very well known for it, its automobile engineering and industrial engineering courses. So that will be a phenomenal university to be applying to, right? Uh, apart from this, there's also Georgia Tech's MS Industrial Engineering course, which is great, right? Georgia Tech is very good with mathematics, computing, etc. So that's a great course. Now, in the top tier universities, there are universities like, um, you know, MIT, Harvard, Stanford, which are offering the same industrial engineering degree with different title names. Right? M uh, MIT is offering two different courses. One is supply chain management. The other is operations research. Harvard is uh, uh, offering an MS computing with uh, specialization in operations research. Stanford is offering an MS and E degree with uh, operations research and analytics specialization. So there are other universities which are offering with different job titles. Now, of course, these universities are phenomenally difficult to get into and they're also priced at much higher segments. So if you have the profile, if you have the budget, there are, there are definitely, uh, you know, good universities to apply to consider, right? Now let's move on to the uh, mid tier, which is my favorite tier of universities. Now, these are reputed public universities, uh, which are relatively easier to get into for a decent profile student uh, and also have uh, you know, great uh, job opportunities. Now, these uh, some universities in this segment are the Purdue University, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, and Texas A&M University College Station. And there are a few other universities which come under the same segment. Now, these are huge, huge public universities with great amount of funding. And, you know, quality of course is on par with the top tier universities. So, I highly recommend, if you have a good profile, I highly recommend you consider these programs as well. Now, coming to safe tier universities. Now, 
here are, these are universities uh, uh, for people with you know average to ab- above average profiles but also very good public universities which offer a great curriculum now some of these universities are clemson university arizona state university university of uh, you know uh, cincinnati etc etc which uh, you know because industrial engineering is not really a very very competitive field like computer science and data science getting into these universities with average or even below average profiles with a few backlogs is also easy right these are very good public universities again i'm not uh, you know uh, pitching low tier universities uh, tie up based universities or such like that these are also very good universities now depending on your profile depending on your budget uh depending upon your preference of location you can choose a very diverse set of universities these are just a few universities there are probably about 100 150 universities that are offering great ms industrial engineering degree now unlike mechanical engineers civil engineers chemical engineers computer science professionals whose job roles are you know very restricted to a few industries industrial engineers role is required across all diverse industries you name the industry there will be a job role for an industrial engineer because fundamentally you are a great uh, you know uh, uh, mathematics and computing professional who can help in decision making process which is a very important aspect of any industry any business that you take so if you're someone who's really interested uh, to explore new industries to learn on a daily basis uh, right then industrial engineering will be a great uh, you know field for you unlike you know computer science or data science or it jobs industrial engineer jobs are also uh, stable over a period of time there's not too many layoffs in this particular segment even though the pay is relatively less your jobs are stable so i highly recommend ms industrial engineering course if you're if this you know uh, really appeals to you uh, uh, thank you so much for listening and if at all you like these videos or if at all you want to learn about more specializations do comment below uh and i will talk about those specializations in my upcoming videos now also if at all you are interested in applying for masters degrees and if you need fair and transparent guidance uh do uh contact us because we really keep students students interests good quality education at the center of our counseling services unlike other study abroad education consultancies who are really there to send students to tie up based universities and make tons of money that's not uh, our philosophy being students who have already pursued masters at top uh, universities i really know what uh, you know uh, what kind of degrees can impact students lives so do get in touch with us i hope uh, you like this video until next video bye